What's going on YouTube? It's your boy X with X Factor Fitness. Checking in today, man, with the 360 Wave video. Today I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a self trim. Hit the line up, get the line looking fresh. Get that hair off my hairline. Keep that looking fresh. Right now, it is the end of my fourth week woofing. Your woofing stage all depends on the person in the person's hair. That's the thing about it. So when I cut my hair back in March, it was low. I hit it, I hit it with the 1.5 with the grain, but my hair grows pretty fast now because I'm using some, you know, some good products. By my hair growing fast, I might jump into my woofing stage after about three weeks after that fresh cut. But let's say I jumped in there four weeks. It's been eight weeks since my last haircut. Officially at the end of the fourth week. Hair is looking rough, man. I'm gonna go ahead and unrag, and then I'm gonna start this cut. spinning right now they're looking good man I am impressed with the progress uh, I've only started woofing I started brushing with a fresh low 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 cut back in January so today is May 5th that's about this is the fifth month of actually going in with it let's get started man I don't want to make this too long I got my medium and my soft brush then I got my hard brush because I am not getting a haircut I'm just getting like a trim I'm going to hit it with the brush. I'm not going to comb out. I'm just going to hit it with the brush. Whatever the hard brush can bring up, I'm going to hit it with the hard brush. And then I'm going to be able to line it up and everything. So I'm not going to comb out because I'm not getting a haircut. Just getting the trim. and I'm going to grab my 1.5 guard and I'm going to go ahead and hit the hairline and I'm going to hit my sides a little bit and trim it down. trimming down your hairline is to remove that hair that sticks up. I mean, 
if you're a true waver out there, you know what hair I'm talking about. But I just removed all that hair that sticks up. Uh, so that when it lays down and I brush out and all that, it's in general, it's gonna be crisp, it's gonna be fresh. So I might do some more trimming, but let's go ahead and start lining up. So I got my Andes outliner too. I wish I had the T outliner. I do not have the T outliner. I just had that outliner too. That's what I use. I've been using it for a long time now. side you guys won't be able to see this side based off of the angles so just know I'm gonna go ahead and line up this side I don't have the perfect camera set up so I can't give you everything okay so my right side is lined up now it's time to hit the back man the back is the hardest spot for a lot of people just based off of angles what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take that same 1.5 open same 1.5 open and I'm gonna take it down with the grain I'm gonna take it down on the part that usually is faded because I'm gonna try to fade it and that's what it is I'm gonna try to fade it but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it a little differently than you see a lot of barbers do it so I'm gonna try something out man work with me I'm gonna just use the 1.5 get a couple strokes in and then play around with the look Okay, now I'm gonna go against the green with the 1.5. Uh, I'm gonna try that out. You see how it looks. Um, we're going with the green. So now I'm gonna try against the green. I'm gonna just try to fade it that way, see how it comes out.
just gonna finesse it. I'm going to uh, close the guard up. I'm just gonna play around with it and see how to get this good fade. So y'all just stay with me. Just caught what I was doing wrong, man. I grabbed the wrong guard earlier. Uh, now I actually do have on the one. <sighs> wow. So, I grabbed the wrong guard, man. All right, people, I'm finished up. Uh, this is pretty much a decent lineup, a decent little fade type of, type of haircut trim. Just to keep you woofing, man. You want to be able to woof long uh, for longer than you usually can. You want to be able to woof so you can get those 360 waves. So you got to keep your head cleaned up because you don't want to walk around looking like a werewolf. I mean, <laughs> basically, you should be able to trim yourself up, give, you, give yourself a nice little lineup. I mean, if not, go head down to the barbershop, spend your hard-earned money on... Uh, a barber cutting your hair but either way you should be able to you should learn how to clean it up yourself we'll go ahead and rag up finished up man got a lot of got a lot of brushing in too because you know with with cutting your hair you got to brush a lot so got a lot of brushing in i'm gonna go ahead and rag up uh continue with my day i'm also going to do a little wash and go today as well gotta wash the hair yeah, it's about that time it's the weekend man but yeah, man, uh, fourth week down woofing, jumping into the fifth week. It is what it is. Ride with me, my 360 way of people. If you like this video, if this video helped you, motivated you to wolf long, helped you to see how you should cut your own hair and how you can get it done, go ahead and click that like button down below. Even if you didn't like the video, click that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel, man. I got a lot more videos coming for you guys. Check out the fitness videos, man. I know you guys out there want to get swole as well as have those 360 waves for the summer. Go ahead and check out those videos, man. I'm coming with a lot of fitness content as well. Helping you guys out in the gym. Helping you guys out at home. Helping you out with your eating. Let's get that 360 waves. Let's get spinning and let's get swole. Thank you for watching.